Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Diego here. Today I have another vinyl video which I'm really excited to make because as you guys know I did just kind of recently a vinyl collection video where I showed every single vinyl in my collection and since that video I've gotten quite a few more. Yeah, this this is a lot of vinyl that I got and these are all actually Target exclusives and just kind of like store exclusives because I don't actually live in the US so I cannot go and buy these because I don't have these stores. So if I did want like Target exclusives or Urban Outfitters exclusives, I would have to pay a much higher resale price plus shipping. So I always told myself that I was gonna wait until I got the chance to actually go to Target to get these all for retail price, you know what I mean? As you can see, I did just that. So I got all the Target exclusives that I've been kind of waiting to get and I got them all for retail price, which is dope. So today we're gonna be doing a little unboxing of all of these and I'm excited to finally have these in my collection. I waited a long time just because like I said, I did want to pay extra so without further ado let's start unboxing these because we got we got quite a few things to go through so i sh i say we start off with starboy this is the target exclusive translucent blue um starboy is one of my favorite the weekend albums i still don't know which was my favorite but i went to the starboy tour or i don't know what it was called it had a different name i feel like but it was for that album. It was an amazing tour, and I really do love a lot of these tracks of this album, so I did really want to get it on the Target Blue because it kind of matches the cover. So let's see what it looks like. We're obviously gonna keep the hype sticker once I actually sleep all these records. So here is the gatefold. Got the track lists and stuff. Ooh, this looks like a really dope color. Yeah, I'm glad I got it on blue. Yeah, it was a good choice for me to wait out. It's this kind of like royal translucent blue, but I feel like it goes, like I said, really well with the cover, you know, with the blue able. And then this is the second one. Same thing, kind of like a translucent blue all around. Next up, I didn't think I was gonna get this one, but since I saw it, I was like, let's just go for it. This is Thank You Next, a Target exclusive clear. I do remember kind of listening to this album back in 2019, didn't like fully listen to it. I kind of came back to it recently and I was like, it's kind of now or never because then I would have to pay a much higher price for this um, pressing. Because you guys would be surprised at how much more they charge for like these type of Target exclusives and stuff. Alright, here is the gatefold for Thank You Next. We got a picture of Ariana and the track list again. I'm excited to see this clear pressing because I think the inner label was a different color. Yeah, it has like a pink inner label, really dope. Very clear vinyl, but the pink inner label kind of gives it like an extra touch. And then the second disc, same thing, clear with the inner label. Since we already unboxed Ariana, let's unbox Eternal Sunshine. I listened to this album a lot when it came out, and out of all the variants, I like I like the Target exclusive the most, just because it has like four pictures. I feel like it encapsulates everything all at once. So this is, like I said, Eternal Sunshine alternate cover. This is like a red vinyl, I think. But yeah, this album, I had a lot on replay. Um, at first, I wasn't like really sure what I thought about it, but the more I played it, the more... I was like, oh yeah, I need I need to get this on vinyl. So this is what the back looks like with the track lists. I think it is one LP, but it does have a gatefold, which is pretty dope. This is what it looks like. It also has like a booklet with like lyrics and stuff and like extra pictures. And then we have this like black sleeve for like the ruby red vinyl. It's pretty heavy too. I like the red, it looks really good. Next up we got Anti by Rihanna. This is a dope album and I didn't think I was gonna buy it at first but then I was like, maybe I should just go for it because I don't wanna pay any resale for this. This have kind of braille in the jacket in the back as well. I think it's a really great touch. This is also on a Target Red exclusive and I think this is like a trifold or something. Yeah, this kind of extends into three. I think this is a trifold is what it's called. But yeah, dope, dope artwork because it is in braille but if any of you guys know let me know so this is kind of similar to the other one it is this translucent red really dope color and then this one kind of same thing second disc also on that red and since we're kind of on this r&b rap um genre i also picked up damn by kendrick lamar on the translucent forest green 
Um, Damn was an album that I listened to a lot back when it came out. Um, and I don't know why I didn't get it on vinyl sooner, to be honest. I feel like I should have gotten it way sooner. I didn't know what type of pressings they were, but, you know, once I saw there was, like, a color pressing with Target, I was like, let's go for it. Also, the back cover, I feel like, could go kind of well with the translucent green. I'm interested to see what it looks like, actually. I'm guessing it's kind of like a darker green. This is the gatefold. It's damn with all the track lists. I feel like my favorite song up here is Element, Love, and I really did love Humble back when it came out. Oh, I like this color. It's kind of like this dark, yeah, I think the name is very fitting. It's like a forest dark green. Um, I don't have any vinyl in my collection like this, so I'm excited to have one. I need to clean this. I'm going to clean all of them, but um, yeah, I like it. The last two, I decided to pick up 1989, Taylor's version um, on the Tangerine. I wasn't sure if I was going to get 1989 just because, I don't know, but since I started collecting Taylor vinyl, I'm finding myself to get more and more of her albums. I just feel like Taylor really nails vinyl releases between like artwork and pressings, you know what I mean? I feel like it is, you know, she really does a good job when it comes to, you know, records and vinyl, just physical media in general. I'm really excited to see the color of the tangerine. This is what the back looks like. Here are all the pictures from the photo shoot. All right. And now finally this reveal. This is supposed to be like a yellowish tangerine. Ooh. Oh, I like this a lot. Yeah, I'm it looks kind of different in person than it does on camera, but it is kind of like an orange tint with yellow. I I really like it actually. I'm glad that I kind of held out because I, I didn't know which one I would get if I were to buy it. But yeah, this is like a Kind of like a peachy tangerine color. God, I've never unboxed this many vinyl at once. It's just overwhelming. Finally, we have Did You Know That There's Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard by Lana Del Rey. Uh, out of all the variants that were, you know, out for this album, Target was definitely the one that I wanted the most, so I'm glad I waited out for that. This is kind of like a dark pink slash red, and it also has, you know, the alternate cover. I'm glad to be adding another Lana album to my collection. She just played Coachella as well. I'm also excited to see, I think it's gonna be more pink, but there might be some red hues in the discs. Dude, this sound is so satisfying. We have this kind of like red um, gatefold and the, the inner sleeves have pictures in them, which is a really, really dope detail. It's definitely like, like it definitely has a more pink hue, but I don't think I have anything like similar to this color in my collection, which is dope. In the light, it looks more pink, but then if you kind of hold it down, it does kind of have a more reddish tint to it. But yeah, I'm finally glad that we have this one as well. Like a magenta, would this be considered magenta? I don't really know. All right, I'm going to clean and sleeve everything that I just unboxed and I'll be right back. So I finally cleaned and sleeved everything. It took me a long time. But I'm just gonna do one final go through of everything that I got. Here we have Anti, or Anti, I still don't know. The Target Red, really, really dope. I'm really glad I bought this. Starboy on the translucent blue, really good color as well. 1989 Taylor's version on the Tangerine with the bonus track. I love this color. Eternal Sunshine Target alternate cover with the red. Then Thank You Next on the Target Clear. Damn by Kendrick Lamar on the tr translucent forest green. It looks kind of black with the inner sleeves, but it is kind of a green tone. And did you know there's Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard, Lana Del Rey on the Target Dark Pink. And then lastly, this is not a Target exclusive. This is an Urban exclusive, but I was looking for it for a long time. This is the Divine Feminine by Mac Miller on the Urban exclusive pink. It is a very neon pink, but I had been looking for this for so long and it was very expensive for resale. And this was the last one that we found in the actual store. So I got it for retail and yeah, even though it's not a Target, still store exclusive. So that's everything for the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I genuinely have never unboxed this many records at once. It was a very exhausting ordeal, but I'm really glad that I'm able to add these because like I said, I had been waiting a long time to you know, finally add this to the collection and I was waiting for the specific colors. Definitely let me know if you guys want more vinyl content like this, more hauls, more tips, etc. And, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.